Greetings everybody, welcome to Games Online, welcome back to more Danganronpa. In the last episode, we found out not, he, not only Hifumi has been murdered, but also Taka. Then the bodies disappeared and ended up here in the repository. And in this episode, it's time to begin the investigation. Let's throw the bodies. Taka, he'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. Found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Get the blue tarp. What about Hifumi? Hifumi's big, cold body he laying on the floor. His really big body. How on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office, where he was discovered, to here in the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. How the hell? It's no good, I just don't get it. You can think about it later. Now I have to finish investigating Hifumi himself. If I remember correctly, Hifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it! His glasses! When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. But now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? Who would do that? And why? Hume's glasses were added to the truth bullets. Nope, don't check Hifumi again. We've been we've been through this, Makoto. Yeah, yeah. What about this thing? It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh? But wait. Wasn't that this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That probably means this was used to move Taka's body. Look at the wheel. Bloodstain, huh? So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What is- what's the explanation for that? I guess we'll find out soon. What about the hammers? There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall, although some are more like mallets. Mallets? Could the Justice hammers have been designed using these as a model? We can see four of them appear to be missing, all in different sizes. Either way, all the hammers here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this hammer isn't dirty at all. And it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Get the spotless hammer. What do you have to say, Byakuya? Byakuya, do you think Hiro really did it? Hmm. I don't see how anyone can think otherwise. When the attacks and the murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died... Yeah, he said Hiro's name. So, in other words... Then there is no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kinda dumb. Do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And that's it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we can complete our investigation. If that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? <laughs> Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is... Why'd they bother killing two people? 
What? Because all the rule says, if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're a killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues. More chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on, perhaps. I see, so that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Huh? What's with the attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, we might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figured something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? Maybe. Now everything? Definitely locked in the door, but can only be locked from inside the repository. And it was locked earlier, which means somebody was... Yeah. No way to lock it from the art room, which means when it was locked, somebody locked it. Oh. You're, you're gonna keep saying that? Can I even look? No, I can't look at the door, can I? Nope. Okay. Hina, do you have anything to say? So, um... Hey, I'm Makoto. I've been thinking about something. About the repository. Huh? What is it? Hmm. After Hifumi and Taka's body di disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. But. We came right to the repository to, you know, look around. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked. Hmm. We came here as soon as the search started. So there was no way someone could have beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there. But I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. The door can only be locked from the inside the repository, which makes me wonder. Ina and Sakura both confirmed the door was locked after the search for the bodies began. And the door is designed so that it can only be locked from inside the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. So that's certain someone. Hina claims that there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. Was it the killer who was still roaming free, or was it one of the victims? Hmm, there's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There's some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Kifumi was found. Then the equipment room where Taka was found. Exactly what I said. So, since we're still up here on the third floor, I think we should check the equipment room next. Wherever it might be, it will be this way. Alright, equipment room. Let's see what there is to see. Justice Hammer again. Justice Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Are these tracks? There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. It reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which can mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. You have the equipment room bloodstain. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in, the, was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. We got the tarps here. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently, too. 
Oh, we get a coin for that. Cool. I guess that's everything we needed to do here. So I guess that means the next place on our to-do list is going to be the first floor. I'm going to head to the nurse's office. Since this is where Hifumi was apparently found. Starting with the Justice Hammer. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Hifumi. Someone moved the body, but left the weapon behind. We have... We can't check the blood stain. What's this, then? Refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here. For blood transfusions, I guess. It doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. Another monocoin, huh? You have anything to say, Celeste? You investigating, Celeste? <laughs> I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around, seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. Hmm. What about you? Uh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Let's see. How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone. Hmm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Kifumi's body in that short amount of time? Indeed. It would seem so. Carry off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is. I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. We have Celeste's account. I guess there's still more here. What else would there be? We check. We can't check the blood stain. We check the hammer. Maybe this. Monitor doesn't really matter right now. Yeah, I had a feeling. Garbage, maybe? It's just a normal trash can. Oh, wait. There's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. But it's also covered in blood. Oh. Ah, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. Who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either. But I think it might be important. Well, now we have the cleaning cloth. Anything else that we might need to see in this room? Nope. Not according to the game. Hmm. So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? Hmm. I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um... You should go to Hero's Room. Oh, and let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? You remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things grow ever more interesting. Well, exciting, but same thing. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. As short and to the point as ever, Byakuya. We have Yasuhiro's message. Um, so he said to go to Hiro's room, but... What's waiting for me there? One way to find out, and that's to head there ourselves. I don't see why we shouldn't head there. So, uh, okay, so his, his room is here at the end of the hall. Somewhere. There. There is his room. 
the door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Yakuya did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take a plunge. Uh, this is about what I expect to see in this room. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff here. Where do you even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means, he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? What are these boxes? I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something, and... Some things made out of... It looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster. Is this... Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room. Wait. These blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. We have the Robo Justice blueprints. Is there everything to this room? I guess so. Makoto, big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko. What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Just a second. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo Justice? Mm. It's Hero wearing the costume. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. To think Hero and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. I don't think we've been here yet, have we? Kyoko and... I mean... Phew, man, I have had the worst day. Hero? What the hell? Um, Hero. Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. Yeah, duh, who else would I be? Um, that's a good question. Huh? But, why do I look like this? Did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it the Illuminati? You have anything to say, Kyoko? Right. I found Hero. It was jammed into the pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean! I still can't believe you kicked me. Yeah. You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden, without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people would think she might be spying for the mastermind? And? First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened, and then I woke up, and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me to just look at you. Huh? Well, um... Let me out of here! I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> Why would you make something you can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong! I didn't make the stupid friggin' thing. It would seem... There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help them. Took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Phew, free at last. Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then. More to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um. Wait, what? Hold on a sec. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Is that okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. 
Yeah, it's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? Then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone. That's terrible! Was Hero. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. What? What? Tie me up? Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. Maybe a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Uh, um... Attacking, blueprints... I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Please! What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costumed attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine. If you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit, Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. See, look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Hmm? Uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. In a huff, Hino took the suit back off again. <sighs> well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... No, see, because you're a girl. If it wasn't our guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arm's too long. There's no way I can wear this. Just a second! See, I told you it was impossible. <laughs> you are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... Then there's another costume. It must have one that looks the same, but it but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible! Which is how we knew it was him. <laughs> what? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Did someone, like, tell me? We have the Robo Justice costume. Next time on Danganronpa. Probably gonna be finishing up with the investigation. Is Hero really the killer? Or did somebody set him up? See you guys then. Danganronpa.